acted out outside the city wall, following all that they have done to his physical body and fulfilling his own intuitive prophecy about how it will be. The very first hymn that I was ever asked to write, long time ago now, and the first of my hymns which went into the hymn book, into hymns ancient and modern and all of that, I used the sentence, it came from St. Mark's Gospel, as the very first sentence of the hymn of Jesus' coming into Galilee in his ministry. And the first time he spoke in St. Mark's Gospel in that ministry, he said, the kingdom is upon you. Repent and believe the gospel. Sorry, we've acquired a friend this morning. And that became the first line of a hymn. He could have gone anywhere, but he describes the rhythmic quality of ordinary life and people expecting that really, when they're in the middle of it, <clears throat> to go on forever. Not expecting at any moment that something very different might happen to call them into a completely different vocation. And then that question which the disciples ask at the end.